inclex, the inclex, the inclex, get ready for the inclex, we're prepping you for the inclex, you know. This is it. Through the sessions, I gained more than that. I gained a mentor. I gained the ability to finally critically think. I think he truly brought the best out of me, which was something I hadn't seen in a while. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jason. I'm out here in the country in Texas. Uh, if you hear Cal Moo in, in the background, don't mind them. They're just living their best life. Uh, today, I just want to talk about my journey into becoming an RN and going through the NCLEX. Uh, definitely with the help from the boot nurse, aka Carolyn Gibson. A little background myself. I was a hospital corpsman in the Navy. I served in the hospital, got my LVN, I served with the Marines on Greenside, got out, jumped ship, uh, joined the Air Force Reserves as a med tech worked some EMS and uh, kind of worked here and there with my LPN license. When going through nursing school, it was definitely a struggle, uh, especially toward the end. I was failing. I was having a hard time trying to figure out like, why can't I get this material down? I was getting told I had a hard time critically thinking. I was having a hard time putting that RN hat on. I was just more skill oriented. I was wanting to revert back to that like military mindset. Thankfully, I pushed through. Uh, past my final and before graduation we had an ATI live review and it was good for sure don't get me wrong I definitely did learn a lot but I did notice the instructor had to uh, teach us all had three days eight hours every day it was a burnout and we we're just covering all sorts of material while I picked up things I don't think I truly grasped everything and even when we answered questions it was very rushed and sometimes also trying to read a question and they're like, oh, this is the answer. We have the option of doing a, Hearst, a live Hearst review and I was about to, but after going through that ATI live review, I was just, I wasn't ready to do something like that again. And when I first met uh, the boot nurse, I followed a uh, search and rescue corpsman. He posted some stuff about some critical care nursing, something I'm uh, very interested in. And I messaged him through IG and he was, you know, super cool, sent me that. And, you know, I looked up his stuff, his YouTube channel's IG and, you know, I loved what he was all about, so I just had to follow him. He was super cool even back then. I failed a test and I was so distraught. I, you know, like with my background, I'm already struggling. I hit him up and he was more willing to talk to me. And he's always kind of been there and we kind of talked here and there. I loved his uh, podcast on Disgruntled Doc. If you get the chance, check that out for sure. He was always kind of there throughout my journey. When it came time to getting prepped up for the NCLEX, I felt like I needed that one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Definitely want to give someone a shot, especially who's been there as a corpsman, who's, you know, been there, done that, like his story. It's truly amazing. To me, it was, just, it almost became a no-brainer at that moment. So when we first started, I kind of told him uh, I had some stuff coming up and I was kind of needing to take it soon. And I was planning to plan it two and a half weeks. He, you could tell he was like, okay, we can do this, but you don't have to put in the work. You can't be playing around. Sure enough, I got my ATT, scheduled it the exact day that I wanted was open on where I wanted to take it. I told him, he was like, perfect, let's get to work. And he set the whole schedule up and everything. And we were, the days weren't easy. I had two and a half weeks to get prepped up for, you know, the big exam, the test that like all throughout nursing school, you hear about like the NCLEX, the NCLEX, the NCLEX, get ready for the NCLEX, we're prepping you for the NCLEX, you know this is it. He set the schedule and it definitely wasn't easy. There was a lot of days, you know, I was struggling. Like I had to find that mental fortitude to push through, but I definitely could have not done it without him. What was really cool was we had these meetings. They're one-to-one -one, and he would explain things and these concepts and he would just really break it down easily. And it was just, it was enjoyable. He really tapped into everything from like audio to books to explain things, even hands-on through a one-on-one -on -one meeting. It was just, it was interesting. He really truly brought the critical thinking out of me. That was something that I was always getting told I had a hard time doing. Come test, it was an easy day, you know, because of him. And I think that was a big thing, you know, obviously we talk about the NCLEX and it's all about passing, you know, passing the NCLEX, getting that RN title, which yes, definitely is a huge honor to have that title of RN. But I think through the sessions, I gained more than that. I gained a mentor. I gained the ability to finally critically think. I gained a friend. I gained someone that's actually now very important to my life, I think. And I was so glad, you know, I took this tutoring and it really brought out my potential and I really saw it. And even after getting collects, I thought I was going to enjoy life, but I actually found myself like hungry, wanting to study, being like, yeah, I remember I was kind of weak on that or like, man, I really love like learning more about critical care. Let me jump into it. He brought that love and that hunger back of wanting to learn, wanting to be knowledgeable, just wanting to be the best version of myself that I can be for myself, for my patients, for anyone, you know, even 
serving in the reserves, taking care of other people, uh, other service members. I could have not done it without him, honestly. I think he truly brought the best out of me, which is something I hadn't seen in a while. To anyone going, getting ready for the NCLEX, especially my uh, hospital corpsman, Six Day Whiskey, Six Day Charlies, my foreign nose. He understands what we've been through, especially serving in the military. He's been there, done that, and he has his RMBS in. I highly recommend anyone to get with him to get his knowledge to like go through his services he will bring the best out of you